<laughs> now, can I start now? Because while yep. this, yeah, do I, oh, do I do get rid of, got it there. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first Zoom session. We've got um, a few special guests. We've got <laughs> Andy from Horse Records, and we've also got some two wonderful second year vet students who are coming to do their, or are doing their horse component here, learning about the horse side of things, I'm trying to encourage them to be, become equine vets because we really need some more equine more, vets. But right. mm. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go after this week. Um, so I'm introducing today Andy from Horse Records and he's going to run us through a little bit about the Horse Records program, what it can do, and then the adjustment component. Would that be right, Andy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do that. Yeah. yeah. All right. That cool. Good. All right. Well, Thanks, Mandy. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a big nerd. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I'm a software engineer by training and I married into uh, horses. Um, uh -oh. Yeah, no one warned me. Um, <laughs> all the horse people at the wedding were giggling and I could never find out why. You know uh, now. Now I know. <laughs> so my wife runs uh, one of the oldest stock horse studs in South Australia. And she and she said to me one day, I'm sick of sick of notebooks and recording stuff on whiteboards and stuff because notebooks degrade and people would call and say, Hey, you you fold this horse 15 years ago. What was it like to break in? And even though her memory is pretty good, you yeah. miss the finer points. So she asked me to code something online. So I did for our stud. And then after we used it for a few years, she said, why don't you um, let other people use software like this? So I took the learnings we'd got for the stud and built Horse Records, which this is, is a... Shalani, isn't it? The, yeah, the Shalani. Shalani, Shalani yeah, Australian drop Stock Horses. Yeah, drop yeah. the name. Uh, uh, drop the know? name? Okay. Yeah. It's freaking hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so my mother-in-law is Jeanette Gower, who many would know, and my yeah. wife is Kim um and many people would know them in that sort of area yeah yeah so um Jeanette has written a book on horse breeding by the way she would be very upset if I didn't mention it so <laughs> yeah check yep. it out <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I've seen that one yeah yeah yep, yep so horse records allows you to record everything about your horse so farrier worming dentistry fecal egg counts um, and you can add custom events. So, for example, say you get a horse chiropractor, um, you can create the event called chiropractor, or maybe you do body work or massage, like equissage. You can put that in as a custom event. And the approach I've made to horse records is what we might do in our stud is different to what you might do if you're racing or something or a, a camp drafter is going to have different requirements than someone doing dressage or performance, uh, sorry, um, yeah, or eventing or something like that. There'll be similarities, but there's there are differences. Yeah. Yeah. So I try and make it as customizable as possible. So you can record all your events. So anything that happens and you can add ones that you like, they can be, um, you can say, oh, this one happens every three weeks. And what that does is it tells you when the next one is due. Okay, so, so it'll give you a reminder. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you can look at your list. Yeah. The farrier rocks up, right, which horses I've got to do? And you yeah. go, okay, it's, these are due, which is good because, you know, your broodies might be on an eight-week cycle. Yeah. The ones in work might be on six. The ones, the special ones with shoes might be on four weeks. The farrier rocks up and you go, I don't know who's where. Yeah, um, yeah. And then you've got ones that might miss a beat or something and, and so forth. But it also, when the vet rocks up and says, oh, you know, when your horse goes, oh, everything's going right, you've got a bit of money, I'm going to run into this fence. Yeah. And, yeah. And, you, <laughs> and the vet rocks up and casually says to you, <coughs> when was this horse's last tetanus? Yep. And you go, yeah. Yeah, does anyone know when their horse's last tetanus are? Um, in horse records, you can look it up on your phone here put that up to the camera of your phone and you can say, oh yeah, it was in May. Yeah. And then what that does is the vet then can say, oh, we don't need to give a tetanus or we do. Yeah. You're not over medicating. And more importantly, you're not paying for medication you don't need. 
because yeah. of course if you don't know the vet's going to give them a tetanus anyway just to make sure yeah. so it's it's, yeah. it's that sort of information that can give you a direct saving yeah. um it, it records performance it records so all the ribbons that you win it perfor, uh, records your training yeah um your pedigrees obviously it calculates the progeny from the pedigree um it calculate it you can put in your feeds and, okay. yep. and the gear that you use for every discipline that horse is in. Yep. So that's good for ponies like at Pony Club because they tend to do a lot of disciplines. Yep. And, you know, obviously your jumping saddle is not the one you use for dressage. That's an obvious horse yep. husband answer. But yep. you guys change the spurs and the bits and the bridles depending on what you're doing. Okay, um, so it gives you like a list of what you're going to need to take. Yeah, and it yeah, gives you a yeah. log too. So if you get a performance drop, you can cross-reference back to when you notice the performance was dropping and yeah. say, oh, I changed the bit and I didn't notice and the horse just was sour to that bit or those yeah. spurs or that sort of thing. Um, and, uh, yeah, there's all the breeding stuff as well, like mare scans. So when you record, you record left ovary, right ovary, uterus, any medications or treatments given. Um, mm -hmm. One of my largest customers has embryo transfer and AI, yeah. and it links to the recipient mare or the surrogate mare so that it can do all that as well. Yeah. But someone said to me, there's people are just horses and there's yeah. not software out there. Yeah. Um, so I decided to code something up. Yeah. So what it works, what it, it's part of horse records. So you get your horse records uh, membership, you can record your own horses, and then you've got the adjustment uh, as its own thing within horse records. So you're not having to swap software between your horses and, and your customers' horses. Yeah. Uh, it's all in one thing. Um, I might share my screen now. Yes, please. That would be good. Let's yeah. do it. Cause I was gonna, that was the question I was about to ask. Can we actually see what you mean? Yeah, cool. So this is horse records here. And there's, if you go to horse records dot info yep. and you can see there's an adjustment link here. Now I'm running this locally. Okay. So this is an exact copy of the site, the real site. Yep. So yep. no one freak out. It'll all be all right. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit of uh, <laughs> computer wizardry so yeah it's cool over my head yeah so this is I the can't info even copy and paste at the moment so this is definitely... <laughs> yeah if i couldn't copy and paste i'd be in real trouble oh, it's a <laughs> be... i don't know what's going on <laughs> <laughs> so this is the general information but what i wanted to show you on this page is the how it works so effectively, you set yourself up. So you upload your logo, you put in your name, contact numbers, whatever. Then each week, we automatically email your registees and say, hey, guys, what do you need done this week? Do you need feeding, rugging, whatever? And they check the checkboxes for their horse or uh, horses. Yep. And then... As you do the tasks, you just mark them as done. Yeah. And then you can export what you've done to Excel. And then you'd use that as part of your invoicing. Now, Horse Records doesn't do invoicing yet, but it, yeah. it will rep give you a report and said, right, this horse you fed five times in the last month. Yeah. So you know to charge five times whatever your feed amount is. So, you know. Okay. So that would transfer, say, the zero. So if you had the zero program. And an invoice? With yeah, that. I don't integrate with zero yet, but yeah. you do get all the counts there and all the yeah. numbers. So you can transfer it over. You can transfer it over yeah. and and put in any customizable stuff. Um, you can scroll down here and read all about it, but perhaps I'll just show you live how it works. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah, let's do it. By the way, quickly, there's there's a bunch of videos Um if you can handle having my face in the bottom corner of your screen for half an hour, <laughs> I've got a bunch of videos that train you, train it all through you. So, so it's all, all That's good handy. there. So where do we um, just log in? 
So these are all my horse groups here. So I've got my retired horses, my horses, the ones that are in work, the brood mares, yeah. and these are my justees. So when you when you set up, you just set up a horse group by going up to here and you just add them. Okay, for some reason I call them farms, but we actually call them studs, but you can change that. So if you call them stables, you can call them stables or farms or studs or mobs or ranches or or whatever. Yeah. Um, if we go to adjustment config here, I'll show you the stuff that you tell it. Here's a lot of words that tell you what to do so you don't have to watch a video every time. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But it's all that, there. That looks very straightforward too, like very steppy, doesn't it? Yes, I try and make it step, 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 yep. step. And by the time you've done this a few times, you just memorize it. It just, and if you forget, you just go through the steps. And there's links to all the bits you care about. Yep. Um, so you can set up your general information. So my test one's called Golden Pastures Adjustment. I say my name is Andy and my phone number and look, only call me between nine to five. Oh, um, that's that's a good one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> good one. You guys so, need this, you know, this one yeah. too. <laughs> yeah. Um, but just do request days. So I can request up to 10 days in advance. Okay. The reminder comes from me and I send the email out on a Sunday yeah. to my justees to say, hey, guys, please tell me what you need. Yeah. Um, and it goes out automatically. They would fill that out. And then I come to Monday and I know what to do. And I've set it at 10 days. So there's a bit of overlap. Because if you just do it seven days and they're not there right on that day, you, you might ah. not know what to do. Yeah, okay. Yep. You can jump in and override it. Yep. Okay. And then you've got your horses. So these are your customers' horses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I apologize. It's the DC universe, not the Marvel. <laughs> I grew up on DC. So um, so just to help me when I'm building it, every horse, the gist is the horse's secret identity. Yeah. Um, so what you have is your horses here and yeah. then your gistees linked to them so you know which horse and which customer yeah. and because you a customer might have three horses with you um so it handles multiple horses multiple customers you've yeah. got the phone number and email of the customer if you have to hit them hard, you know contact them directly yeah. and some customers for example if they're a full service adjustment you're yeah. probably not sending them reminders because you just know what yeah. they have to do um, but if they're part service, you do need to send them reminders in case things change. Yeah. Um, so that's all cool. And you can like edit notes here, um, you know, so, <laughs> so yeah, when you see these people, you might say, you know, uh, call them major, like, you know, if they're an ex-military person, you know, yeah. you don't call yeah. them. They don't see that. Yeah, yeah, they don't see that. Yeah. No, only yeah. you guys see that. Yeah. Then um, when you set up, you set up your routine working times. So they can be, usually it's morning and night for most yeah. smaller adjustment systems, but you might do three times a day or you might do your noon, but the noon's only for training if you're like into training. So it might be a.m., noon, p.m., or morning, evening. So you can set up whatever you like with cutoffs so they have to tell you what needs to be done by the cutoff. Yep, yep. Then you set up what you do. So most adjustment places will feed and rug. Mm -hmm. Some will clean. Um, one of my uh, friends, she's a vet nurse, so she does medication. So she can do like a higher level of medication than you or I can. So that's one of her routine tasks if a horse needs medication. If you're doing rehab or training, you might put that in there. Or one of the tasks might be simply catching. If you've got people coming in and out all the time and you need to know when you need to catch the horse for, for the, um, uh, for the uh, customer. But the thing is, it can be whatever you want and whatever suits your adjustment 
system. It's not me telling you this is a, this is what an adjustment place should be. You need to fit into me. No, I'd say you tell the system what you want and it will customize itself for the, for you. Um, so hopefully people like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is just the default here. That's, That's what I was going about to ask you. Good. So I'm glad you went there because I thought I'll oh, just hope. And we're yeah, communicating telepathetically. Yeah, aren't we? this is really. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So the just the default is when they go to their task list to enter what they need to do for the week, it defaults. Yeah, feed my horse every day. Yeah. Okay. But so rugging. They don't need to fill it. Fill it in. That just says yeah. yeah and automatically, and they can override that. Yeah. So yeah. And then this is just sort of the reference where it assigns each task to each time. So you can put a note in. So you might say, look, yeah. don't ask me for cleaning at PM because we do it morning only because it's my lad who does it for pocket money, but he's only going to do it one day, one time a day. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that would be notes. Here's another one, pre-made feeds only. So yeah. this customer has the... The, their customers come and make all the feeds and they just serve them out yeah. as an example. So, yeah. you know, that I try and make it as customizable as possible. Um, so once that's all set up and all your horses are there, yeah. you can um, override anything an adjuster says. So if we go back here and... I'm going to log in as Captain Marvel, okay? So just bear with me while I do tricky stuff. And I'm going to pretend I'm Captain Marvel. This is me uh, in the back end. So I go to Captain Marvel, Captain, no, I think it's that one. Don't know my superheroes. So now I'm the customer. <laughs> so <laughs> so I'm, I'm Carol. So what I do is I say, right, um, today is Friday. So Captain Marvel, you can feed him and you can feed him every day. I don't know why Batman's there. Batman shouldn't be there. Um, <laughs> that's, it's the test. Um, I'll probably be messing around. And yet yeah, clean him every day. Um, and obviously you don't click the morning, uh, don't click the afternoon for cleaning. And look, rugging, I don't care about. Then you save that. Okay. And I'll get out of Captain Marvel. Now, when I um, go to adjust a task, so I give this to me on my strapper. And I can see, right, what I need to do today is I need to go to all these horses. And I need to, uh, feeding was requested and cleaning was requested. So when I feed the horse, I click mark done and there it's marked as completed and the time I did it and who did it so that you know which strapper is doing what and the customer can see that. If I've got a long, long, long list of customers, I can say, look, just give me the AM for today. Uh, sorry, I've unclicked the wrong one. There we go. Just give me AM because yeah. that's what I'm working on now. And then when I'm on my phone, I just look at, like the time period I'm looking at. And there's a, you know, you've got some filters in case you need to backdate or forward date something in case something goes wrong. If a customer doesn't fill out their requests or calls you, you can go in and do it for them. So you can say, right, Wonder Woman needs to be fed. They call and go, oh, sorry, I couldn't get to the computer. Can you just feed my horse, please? So you can go in and override that as the owner of the adjustment place. Yeah. And then when you go to do the work, it says, oh, Wonder Woman needs to be marked done. Yeah. So even though we ask the adjustees to do the data entry, we can override it because, you know, hey, it's our, our gig. Yeah, yeah. Then. And then and that's my... an emergency, like if somebody gets caught because their kid's not ready for school or whatever. Yep. They get they can't get out there for whatever reason. Mm. They can ring you and, and you can add it in and you can still yes. get it done so it's still recorded. Yes, exactly yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's good. And then at the end of the week or the month or the whatever, you've got a report on what was done. Yeah. So in this case, Carol, 
had the feeding done. Yeah. And you can download that as an Excel. And it just is a, like a file you can use. You can default to like the last month and it shows what's been done. Yeah. So I fed in the AM and I fed in the PM because this horse is, I don't know, in work or something. So on that day, I did two feedings. And then when you do the download, it says, hey, in this time period, which is here, which yeah. will be in the spreadsheet, yeah. I fed three times. So you multiply that out and yeah. you put that in your zero. So you go, hey, I, you know, I fed 37 times at $2 a pop, pay me money. Yeah. Um, and what that, what this reporting stops is the case where the customer says, I'm coming down on Saturday, don't feed my horse. And you accidentally feed it because you don't have the adjustment module. And then the customer rocks up and feeds the horse. The horse gets two feeds, doesn't tell you. You just wonder why it's happy. Yeah. And then the customer says, why are you billing me for feeding on this day? And you go, well, yeah. I fed it. And you go, well, no, I fed it. Now yeah. you're in an argument over $2 and it's not yeah. worth it. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and the other can, one that you can do is looking at reverse, and you, they can say you didn't feed my horse on this particular yes. day, um, which I think is quite a common um, problem that people yes. run into. They, they, you know, they say, "Oh, you didn't do it," and you can say, "Well, yes, I did." Yes, this, I did, and it was done yeah. at this time by this yeah. person. Yeah, yeah. And then you like, if you want to go even deeper, someone says, "Oh, what if they clicked the button and didn't do it?" Well, God, you know, yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do everything. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, yeah, it's something that's in, and it gives, I suppose, having it recorded on paper, mm. it's a lot easier to say, oh, yes, I've done it, and not have done it, than say, click a button saying, yes, I've done it, because now it's recorded. Your, less, your workers or whoever is less likely to not do it if it's recorded. If that makes Correct. sense. Correct. And you know, it makes it, it's more accountable. Um, and I think, I think um, people take more. Um, credence from it, I suppose, is the one. Yeah, definitely. And you can, if you've got like 20 horses, this list will be quite huge. Yeah. And you might have two girls who are doing all the feeding. Yeah. As they update it, you can see in near real time this update. So you know where in the stable they're at. Yeah. Um, which can be useful, particularly for large, large facilities. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, how much does it cost, I guess, is your next question. No, I'm still back on this one. Still back on this? All right, <laughs> well, we'll hold that one. I, yeah, I think that's the other thing is if there's somebody saying, oh, look, I don't think my horse is being fed, mm. and you can see that X person is doing it. doing it. Yeah, it, it, again, keeps you in track of your employees as well. Correct. Um, and yeah. who's doing what and how much, you know, whether one's doing more than the other or it just gives yeah. you more of a snapshot of your whole business. Can I ask one more question? So we, we're going on to the, the cost thing side thing. Yeah, have if you, you want to. Got yeah. anywhere, and I might be throwing a spanner in the works. Have you got anywhere in there where they are, and this is back on Zim, sorry, lo actually located? So they're in yes. paddock number one or they're in paddock, they've are in they been moved to paddock number three. Okay, the so there's two ways. First of all, there's the pick number, oh, which okay. is yeah. property. Yeah. But there's this concept called tags. Yeah. So here, so you might add a tag. Do you yeah. have a, um, I don't have permissions. I'll just give myself permissions. But yes, there's there's tags for the horses. Yeah. So you might have a tag called left paddock. Yep. And you put, uh, these are all my horses, by the way. <laughs> and you put Captain Marvel. I don't know why there's two. I'm sorry. That's just <laughs> testing. Yeah. Um, and you apply that. Yep. Now, when I go to see it, it says left paddock. Yep. And um, you can then filter by it on the different things. Uh, but good. yes. But a horse can have more than one tag. So you might go to the horse itself mm -hmm. and say, well, she's pregnant. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So now you've got you've got multiple dimensions that you say, right, give me all the left paddock pregnant ones or more yeah. useful, give me all the ones in the right paddock who are in work because they're the ones who need the farrier or give me all the ones that are visiting mares uh, for breeding. They're the ones that need the scan. 
yeah. or the or the teas or whatever if you're in a breeding operation. But I'm really looking forward to tags came out about six weeks ago, and I'm really looking forward to people grabbing it by the horns and coming up with some ideas on how tags can be used. Yeah. Um, if I go to so here's one in work. Um, left paddock and I can filter by it so I can say give me all the horses in work well there's only one but you can filter by all of these things yep yep so does that that's how yeah, you would do good. locations yeah usually. no location I think is really handy mm. because whether it's in a group situation or whether it's by itself or stall or what stall yeah there. um whether it's stable yard um you can also do QR codes okay now you've lost me <laughs> so, I know what they are, but what is, how does it work? Okay, so a QR code, if you've got two black horses from the same trainer who've both got the same blaze. <laughs> We've got that here. Yeah, <laughs> you might print out this QR code and attach it to their bridle. And then you can scan it with a Just QR scanner out. on your phone yeah. and it will take you to the right page in horse records for that horse. That's that's, that's very, yeah, that's yeah. good. Microchip yeah. scanner. Yeah, yes. Yeah. But so even this, this, you can just use your phone and not a microchip yeah. scanner. That's yeah. that's right. And if you yeah. see if I've got, oh, I'll just upload a photo. Just bear with me. Um, because that can also be very confusing for Farrier. They say, you know, do the chestnut mare. Um, yeah, and you're like. I not necessarily know which chestnut mare. That's right. So I've just uploaded an image for um no, I've got to make it a profile image. Just bear with me. So you can upload photos, of course, and we'll just make that a profile. And now if I go to the QR that, code, I can see the photo. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. So particularly if it's a case of you recognize them by a small dot they've got on their blaze or something, <laughs> that's what the photo would be. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that. QR codes are useful for large operations. Yeah, yeah where there's a lot of chestnut mares all with their yeah. ears back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that that would be oh, that's that's very handy. And again, takes the guesswork out of it or any mistakes, yeah. you know, or you're being you know, you're in, under the pump because you're in a hurry or no, and it just it's about doing the best you can. Like, you know, mistakes will always happen, but it's about minimizing them as much as you can and just, and doing the best. And you can say, look, I'm doing the best I can. I've got it. You know, I've done everything I can possibly yeah. reasonably do. Yeah. Um, it's just human error, you know? Yeah. 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 And that, that, that happens too, but you're certainly minimizing mm. the risk of that, particularly, as you said, in the big, the big organizations where it is and get really tricky. Mm. I, yeah. I do love the location in mean, that location and yeah those the whole tag thing yeah good. that's really yeah. smart yeah yeah and you might put something like say you had a horse husband who's your strapper you might say have a tag pinto um so he knows which <laughs> color the horse is yeah. without having to look here and go to color um yeah, yes actually yes yeah. <laughs> yes you might put that in, and you can change the background color of the tags too, so you can make it decent. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, the other thing too is quite often with your location is it's different pricings. So a paddock, a group paddock, might be cheaper than a yard and stable or a single right. individual. So if you can, if you can easily figure out who's doing what or who's where, you can also easily price it over as well. So Yes. Well, that's, yeah, that's very good, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. A paddock's yeah. cheaper than a stable, I assume. Yeah. 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 A group Generally. Paddock, yeah. Yeah. Well, you'd like to think so. A group paddock is, yeah. Or if you've got, um, you know, a bigger paddock with six horses might be cheaper than a smaller paddock with two horses. Yeah. A stable and yard situation is different again. Or we're we're also getting into track systems. A few of us, um, mm -hmm. another track system that's going to be a different price again. Um, so yeah, no, that's that's really and handy. What, what you might do with larger operations, where you might have some that are stabled and some that are turned out in the paddock, you can create multiple logistics groups. So you might call this logistics turned out, and another one would be logistics um, stabled. Yeah. Because yep. the stabled would have different tasks yep. than the turned out one. The turned out ones might be just rugged. I'm just going to rug them. 
Yeah. Do they need rugging? Yes or no. Where the stable ones would be feed, rug, medicine, clean. Yeah. You know, so you're not limited to having just one a justies group. Okay, there's a little bit of admin, but yeah. it is it is spread Basically. out there. Yeah. 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 Hmm. yeah. Oh, can you guys think of any questions? How much does it cost? Ah, oh, what does it cost? <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> so it's on a per horse, and a horse is an animal that's considered active, as in you're adding events. They're there. Um, it is not a pedigree-only horse or a horse that's passed away or something like that. It's a horse that you're adding events to. Most adjustment companies would probably go to this one, up to 25 horses, 24 a month. So less than a dollar a horse. Uh, smaller adjustment operations would go to this one here. So And, and um, the plans go up to whatever number you want. Uh, my high, largest customer's got 400 horses. So, But I only put up to 100 here. If you're going above 100, give us a call. Have a chat. Um, <laughs> and I believe... Uh, we've got an, a, a coupon code. Did you know that, Mandy? Uh, yes, but I hope you'll have to run me past how it works. I forgot the coupon code. <laughs> Hang on. I forgot what it was. Yes, I know we discussed that in the early in the early in the early days. Yeah, it's all set up. So anyone who uses that um, coupon code will get twenty percent off. Yep. And the coupon code is stand by while I check it. I. I know we went back and forth with a couple of names and I, I've just forgotten what I set up for you. Just bear yeah. with me. I'll just check. I think it was – no, I can't remember. I reckon, no, I reckon it was a gist. I reckon it was. I didn't want to say it, though. <laughs> yeah, a gist. A-G-I-S-T. Yep. yep. So I'll just go to the join page. So I'll just share my screen again for you guys. So that one. So when you when you go to the join page, just in here, you just type a gist. Okay. Yeah. A gist. And that gives you 20% off the paid plans. You can try it on for free. Okay. <laughs> and make sure that what I've done is right. Yeah. And then, then you go to the one of the paid plans. Just use that coupon code yeah. at the checkout so you get your 20% off. If you make a mistake, just call me and I'll I'll help you out. Um, about the only other thing, Mandy, is um, I'm a programmer. So if you're not talking to a salesperson or account manager, you're talking to the guy who actually puts his fingers on the keyboard. Yep. yep. So if there's anything you see that doesn't make sense or you would like a feature added, please let me yep. know. Yep. And I'll whack it on the list. Um, yep. The adjustment module was created because one of my customers said, do you have anything for adjustment? Yep. And then I walked away and couldn't sleep for two nights because I'm going, oh, I could be this and this and this. <laughs> and it's so, so broad. Like, adjustment is so broad. Yeah. You, you've got, you know, it's, it's yeah, the fact that you can customise it or it's flexible enough to be customised is really and, good. And I expect that as more and more adjustment companies use stuff, they'll say, oh, what about this? What about that? And I'll add it in. The only caveat, perhaps, is when I add something in, it needs to be kind of for everybody. Yeah. So, so Mandy, if you want something added, I would add it and there'd be no charge, but everybody gets that feature. Yeah. If you said, I want something just for me, yeah. then that's a, that's a separate project yeah. and we yeah. talk dollars. Yeah. Just... But oh, I haven't had any of those because like, yeah, everyone can <laughs> no, use it if I get it yeah. for free. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't think why you wouldn't. Um, what I'm thinking now is I'm back on our lovely topic of insurance. Mm. Is there something, because I'm thinking that if the more information insurance companies get, the better the deal that you right. that you're doing. So if, well, I'm wondering if that would this would help in some risk management way. That you could mm. say, okay, 
I don't know. I'm just it just came into my head. I'll give that that can give you a couple more nights. Thanks, to mate. That's all right. I was thought I was going to sleep tonight, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, because we were, we were talking insurance before, and it is. It's just going up mm. and up and up and up. Oh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? And I yeah. know one of the ones that I have to do like there's pages of risk management and what you can do and what this. And the more mm. information you give them, mm. the better the deal they'll give you. So I'm just thinking how it could possibly be tied in. Apart from the fact that you keep you know what's going on everywhere, which yeah, is, you is print a big stuff process. out. Yeah, but yeah. Particularly um, if the insurance company said, "Look, if you use horse records, then we'd give you a discount." That's really what we're asking, isn't it? Well, um, yeah, but the, 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 it's going to benefit the insurance company, so it's going mm. to show that a we keep good records, so therefore we might be looking after our mm. horses better, or. Um, because we we've, we've got all this in place, our horses are less likely to injure ourselves, or the horses are less likely to get out mm. and on the road, or you know, I don't know, I don't know. That's something that you could ponder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no one wants to let me sleep. <laughs> no, it's just yeah, insurance. Yeah, <laughs> I, I could ask what I'll do because I would like to get somebody insurance. I've tried. I'm with Acuity. Is Acuity. Right. Yeah, I'm with Acuity. No, that's a different one. Is it security? Uh, yeah. We Is don't that, just here, one. so yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure it's security, but that could be my mm. booking system, so I could be getting completely up. up. I'm sure it is. Um, I would like to get someone from there. I, I think Gowers is the other one. Um, I'll ask them and say, okay, what's what can we do yeah, to help bring good... the cost down? And then I can feed that to you or mm. uh, and see something like that might give us a different angle because anything to keep costs down which is this is going to help as well yeah, anything that reduces the risk the insurance yeah, company wants to yes. know about because they don't want to pay out at all so no, no they don't. if it's less risk they're in for it yeah yeah, yeah. all yeah. right I'll, I'll get onto that and i'll try and see if i can get onto that so mandy's not sleeping tonight now <laughs> oh, yeah. i did try and pin them down like when we started, i tried to do this a while ago um, mm. And they kept saying, yeah, yeah, we'll come and talk, we'll come and talk, and oh, we'll do it next month because we're a bit busy this month, and mm. we'll do it next month. And so I could never pin them down, but and they just got away from me. So I'll try and get them next month, and, mm -hmm. and yeah, and I'll throw that at them and say, okay, well, how can we bring it, the costs down? What can we do that's going to help you guys? Um, mm. they, I'm sure, yeah, they don't want to pay out, and if they can, they're, they're pretty good giving us, um, you know, they give us different, risk management strategies and things so oh that's right. good yeah that's giving me some homework as well excellent sorry I guys think of any <laughs> any questions um i was wondering if like how many people can log into the program is it like clients and like the people running the yeah so when you set up we i sort of brushed over it but when the adjuster sets it up part of that is giving view access to the customer of what's happening. Right, yeah. Um, so every one of the customers can see the adjustment and they need their own horse records account, a free one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they, they just need a free one. And then they can um, enter an adjustment and stuff like that. Uh, there is a permissions set up where you say, this is a customer and they can add tasks. Yeah. That's... I sort of brushed over that bit, but it certainly yeah. is in there. So, yeah, what would happen is an uh, adjuster would set up and then they would, uh, within the system, set up emails going to all their customers saying join, and then you add yeah. the horses and you add the adjusters, adjustees, so everyone can see what is happening. Yeah. Um, if you're asking scale, uh, I've got thousands of customers and tens of thousands of horses, and the CPU of the servers at about one and a half percent so i've got i've yeah. got capacity yeah yeah right awesome. yeah so is there another one like another login for people like working for adjustment? yes like, say if you were just like hired by the adjustment program to do feeding for example and you wanted to say i did this feeding so that yes. other separate login as well so it's yeah once again it's the permissions matrix so oh, you yeah. would yeah. yeah so you add your staff member and you would give them permissions relevant to what they can do gotcha. so if they're an owner they do everything if they're a manager they do nearly everything yeah. a groom can add events but probably not add horses okay a strapper yeah. can barely do anything and <laughs> horse husbands are below that they just <laughs> breed 
But yes, yeah, so you can have staff with permissions. Mm. And it also handles the fact that a staff can also be a customer. Yeah, right. I didn't think about that. That's... Yeah. And it also handles the fact that one person might work at multiple stables. Oh. So in the morning, they oh, might, yeah. they, they work at a racing stable and in the evening they go to the a dressage stable or a pony yeah. club. Yeah. So they would have one account in their name and they'd have permissions from all the different horse groups. So I yeah. sort of, I remember agonising over that because I said, you know, the girl down the road who loves horses, she's going to come here and clean out stables and then she gets a gig at the other stud down the road and starts riding them for her. She'll want both things. Yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's yeah, how I built right. it. So, yeah, you can be... You can be anything, man. It's like the Barbie movie. You can be a staff <laughs> member, a customer, and a just a whatever you like. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's awesome. it's, it's very flexible. I think that's yeah. that's a really important key of anything is being really flexible. I think so. A lot of yeah. the software out there, I think, is a lot more single function, and you do it our way. Um, yeah you know, we've made the decisions for you, but I prefer to go the, you know, adjusters have horses, their own horses. So you should be able to handle both, not have yeah. to have just an adjustment tool. You got to have other things. And your kids go to pony clubs, so they got their ponies doing things and stuff like that. Yeah. So yeah, it's I've made it as flexible and customizable as I as I can, um, you know, within reason. Yeah. So if, say, I was at a, um, I kept a horse in an adjustment place and I mm. went there and I had the vet coming out, mm. you guys, mm. and I could type it in and I could have all my, all the vet records in, on, on my phone, which I think would be really, really helpful. Yeah, I can quickly show you that if you like. Um, I'll just log in again. So I'll just see if I've got stuff for... Uh... Young Captain I Marvel. think that would be really handy because most vets travel to you for the horse vets, whereas so they don't necessarily have access to all No, the vets. and vets have their own software, which is really medical based. Yeah. Um, so I'm just getting a horse up while I'm on the uh, chatting to you. Like they like vets have their own software related to the drugs they've given and stuff like that. Yeah. But um yeah, here's one. Okay, so I'll just share my screen. But, yeah, um, owners have different requirements, shall we say. Okay, so I've got this little pony called Princess because every pony is called Princess. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> I just, no, the rescue one I just oh, – well, I rescued a while ago. Her name was Princess and I cannot call her Princess. <laughs> so I have changed her name. It's the only horse I've ever changed the name. <laughs> well, there you go. So – this is an event log. Okay. So you can see now, this this is my test horse, my stunt horse. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, dentist, preg tested, scanned, wormed, preg tested again, farrier, chiro, gear and tack added. Okay. Tetanus. Um, just a big long list. This is some scan results. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. For, yeah. for pregnancy. Um, yeah. And going forth there's also a concept of tags uh -huh. so okay. yeah yeah so they're permanent or semi-permanent notifications about the horse so obviously allergic to penicillin you want to know about that one yep and then when the horse is sold those flags go with the horse yeah so if the fact that the horse is allergic to something is lost in translation yeah. For whatever reason, it's there on the horse. So whenever they go there, it's big in red. Uh, yeah. And this horse hates being scanned, so she needs to be sedated. Um, as my vet says, drugs are good. So, <laughs> so <Yeah>. yeah. <laughs> and this one, this horse is pregnant, so it's got the full due date calculated based on the last serve date. Oh, uh, wow. Okay. And you can define the gestation days set at 340, which is the Southern Hemisphere number. The Northern Hemisphere is 342. Oh. But if you've got yeah. a mare that always, uh, you know, cooks them faster, you can change the gestation days for that mare to get a little bit yeah. more accurate. Okay. Um, and yeah, here's all your 
regular scans. So this this horse has, you know, needs strangles every 108 days. I don't even know if that makes sense. It's just a test. But it needs yeah. dentistry every year. You might have a horse, perhaps an older horse, that needs dentistry every six months or nine months. Yes, we've, we've discovered that too. Yeah. <laughs> you can, yeah, you can adjust adjust that. Yep. Um, and crutching was when someone said, can it do sheep? Yes, it can. <laughs> but it's mainly for horses. And the horse permissions here, this is all the stuff that you mix and match if depending whether they're staff or um, customer. So horse husband, he can just view what needs to be done. A, um, uh, a strapper might be out at or edit events. A groom can do everything except edit the horse. You yes. know, owners can do everything. Uh, a customer would probably just be view. Yep. And if it was an adjustment stable, when it's an adjustment, you get the adjustment ones here. Yep. Um, so I'll show you that very quickly, just because we asked. Yep. Um, so bring it up here. It is a bit slow running locally because I've got all this test harness in the background. Um, so if we pick Captain Marvel and do horse permissions for her, the adjustment ones appear. Okay, so a staff member needs to be able to record what they've done and view what they've done. Yeah. A customer needs to be able to make requests and view requests. Mm -hmm. An owner, perhaps in a syndicate, might view the requests but never make them. If you've got like a a situation where you might have a large group of owners, but only one person who calls the shots on what needs to happen. I don't know. It's there. It's flexible if you need it. And if you've got a staff member who adjusts, they will have all of them because they need to be able to record what they do, view what they do and make the requests. Mm -hmm. So, but generally it's either one or the other staff will be like this. You and your staff will be like this and customers will be like that. Okay. And it'll be one or the other, generally. Um, if permissions are, can get complicated, so please contact me. Happy to work through them. I'll just ask you some questions and we'll tick the right boxes and then you copy from there, you know. Uh, permissions are always a bit gnarly because there's just so many different options and combinations. Yeah. Yeah. That another question, yeah, <laughs> and then I'm probably going to let you go because I think you've got kids to pick up. Yeah, so, that's, that's that's cool. that's good. <laughs> um, so I mainly have retired horses, so it means mm. I don't tend to have people come in here very often. Mm. But I do like to send them. Can, is there a way of attaching photos mm. to those weekly reports? Yes, I did oh. not even talk about that. Oh my god, because <laughs> that so, would be very handy. There's, cus there's the concept of messages. So per horse, you can create a message yeah. that automatically goes to Captain Marvel. This is going to Carol Danvers, who's Captain Marvel's, and you might go progress 22 set 09. And you can add a photo. Um, so you might say perform well in show. And then you can edit the image. Okay. You might um, annotate it like with a, a Sharpie. You might go check this bit, check this bridle out. How yeah. awesome was that? Yeah. <laughs> and then you can send that. Okay. And then Carol will get an email from Horse Records saying there's a message. Yeah. Come and have a look. And she can go to the message in her messages, which is up here. Yeah. And she can click on it and she can see, it's like email, it's internal email. Yeah. She can yeah. see the image and whatever. Plus, when you go down to the horse, the the your message is kept there as a record. Okay. So stuff doesn't get lost. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That that would be very handy because that like, as I said, I, a lot of my adjusties live hours away. Mm. So I like to send them, you know, a couple of photos once a month as a pro, as a progress report. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, particularly as they tend to be older horses as well. So Yeah. 
Well, you see they've got good money. weight and stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. Mm. Yeah. So awesome. um, that messages is, is really cool because you can also do a let's message everybody about something general. Yeah. So here's all my customers. There's no horse attached to this because it's just a general message. And, uh, you know, and then you add your, your Christmas card, hit send, and um, all those people will get, oh, you need a message, message. All those people will get that one message. I've just thought of another way that would be really handy is natural, because we're talking about natural disasters, fires and floods. Oh, yes. yes. Really handy to get messages to everybody at once quickly um, so yep. you're not sending out individual ones or making a group. I've got a group of group chats. But that would come in really handy, you know, for, for getting the message out to everyone quickly. Yeah, particularly if there's a fire nearby. You don't want people calling you a million times. Are my yeah. horses okay? Yeah. Are you yeah. okay? You know, yeah. yeah, everything's okay, but I'm just running. Yeah. You know, yeah. like or a you've got, if you want to move your, evacuate your horse, you've got until X amount of time. Otherwise, don't come. Yep. Stay off the roads, um, things like that. So, yeah, yeah that, would, that would be really handy, I think. And so also... That's a, as you said. That's a separate message platform again, isn't it? It comes through horse records rather than messenger or email. Yeah, so and it's not getting lost in everything else. Correct. Yeah. So the the customer gets an email that says there is a message. Yep. Yep. And then they can go to that's horse true. records, and the message is yep. there. Yeah, so it's their own horse records email, kind of within yeah, horse records, yeah. and kept there. You can't delete anything. Oh. So they can archive it, right? Yeah, to clear yeah. it out. Yeah, but it's yeah. it's kept, okay. so that's, that's um, a really good feature. So yeah. everyone's covered, yeah. and you can upload other things like not just photos, but you might upload the that A4 sheet you get from the horse dentist. You might up scan that and say, "Hey, horse yeah. is fine, you know, a bit of filing, but otherwise all good." Here's the here's the document, or here's your rego papers, or you know, here's its hoof injury and the progress over time. Yeah, yeah. All that sort of information. And then when the horse is transferred and moved on, that information is there. You can hide it and make it private if you want. Yeah. But if a horse has an injury you, in a few years, you want to know that it's kind of had that so it's not like a recurrence or is it, you know, you just it's good to know the history of what's happened with your animal. Yeah. And, yeah, so and that, document it over time to track yeah. it like, and as massages and things like that, you know, yep. body, body work reports. And um, it, yeah, the Cairo says, oh, this is a, you know, this, what's it, the sacrum? You can have sacrum stuff that comes and goes and, yeah, yeah. you know, um, yeah. So that, I think that's important. And it also shows to the new owner that you have been looking after the horse regularly. Yeah. Yep. You know, yeah, yeah, it had Ferry every six weeks on the dot. And yeah. it has been wormed regularly, whether you're doing the old school worming or the fecal egg count, which is the newer school, which, you know, yeah. what, you what's happening? Yeah. You should be doing it. You, you should be doing, doing fecal egg counts, all right? Isn't that also? They'll be doing that today. Um, oh, really? Okay. That also, <laughs> that also um, covers you because if somebody comes back and says, oh, look, your horse is lame, and yeah. you can say, well, I've been doing his feet every six weeks, but they've been doing it every 10. Yep. Um, it can quite They're not coming back on you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah, because you're not looking after him properly. I did. Um, and another, another thing when horses are sold, my wife always enters in the feed that she's feeding them yeah. at the time. So yeah. that when the horse is sold and moved to a different location, yeah. you lessen the chance of colic with the change in circumstances because yeah. you're giving them the same feed. I mean, yes. you can't give them the same pasture, but the same pellets yeah. and stuff. Yeah. And then you Definitely. can sort of wean them off that. And it change over. Yeah. Yeah. I, my wife is just doing that without telling me. And then I found out and she goes, yeah, I use it for that because it, it just helps the horse. And I'm like, oh, cool. That's good. Hmm. And these are sort of things that you'd pass on, but it'd be verbally and it might get forgotten or it written down and it get lost. Yeah. But yeah, and that's the actually excitement of a new horse. And, yeah. you know, it, it this stuff does get lost. Notebooks degrade over time. Do you have a notebook from 10 years ago? Like, where is it? Let yeah. alone is, can you even open the pages without them crumbling? And um, finding it, finding that information. Finding it, yeah. 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 Um, so, oh, yeah. Awesome. I'm also very... working with Racing SA, Racing Queensland, Racing New Northern Territory and Racing WA. 
Excellent. for their off the track programs. Yep. And I'm also collaborating with Barristock. Um, customers can get a free nutrition analysis from Barristock as part of our uh, collaboration together. Yep. So yeah, it's it's not just for horse owners and adjustment companies. I'm doing off the track stuff and stuff with yeah, the big feed brilliant. companies. Yeah, so no, it I is love the off the track work because yeah, you need to yeah. track where they're going. Um, Yes. Yeah, and what's, <laughs> we would what be training we've had? This month. Yeah, yeah. Because you know this horse has uh, done dressage, but how long? And what training was done when yeah. it came off the track to get to dressage? Does it? Why is it scared of tarps? You know that kind of stuff yeah. that yeah, you can no. all put in. Yeah. 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 No, it sounds sounds excellent. Hmm. Sounds Thank you very much. I think Thank you, we're, Mandy. We're only going to do half an hour, and I think we've gone way over that. Oh but... my goodness, it's all good. <laughs> But, yeah, so I hope I haven't made you late for your kid pick up. Oh, uh, that's all right. It makes them tough. Yeah. <laughs> just be waiting on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, they'll do that. Now, are you going to attach this to the Facebook page so that we can find it again? Is, is yeah, I'll right? upload it to YouTube. <laughs> yep. I'll upload it to YouTube and post it in the in the page. Oh, perfect. Thank you. And then I might have to figure out how to do that so I can do the next one. But okay. Awesome. <laughs> thank you so much it's been excellent talking to you and yeah very, yeah really good really cool thank you mandy it was great That's see great. you guys see see ya. Ya. Bye. Bye. thank you